Hi, I'm Laura from Black Horror Cosplay, and today I will be sharing with you how I made my corset for Rem from Ray Zero. For the corset piece, you will need one yard of your main fabric. If you're making the original Rem, you will need black. 8 by 8 inches of white material for your bows and roughly 1 yard of assorted festive material and 2 yards of bias tape. For this material that I am using, the grain lines are very visible, so the direction is very important. I want the grain line to be vertical for all of my pieces. Begin as you would begin any sewing project by tracing and cutting your pattern onto your fabric. I use this triangular fabric chalk for tracing out the pattern. After tracing and cutting this piece, you will invert the pattern and repeat the process, and then repeat again and again on your supporting festive fabric. Now you will pin your top fabric and your supporting fabric together. Now that you have traced, cut, and pinned all of your pieces, you are ready to sew. I chose a red supporting fabric for the lining of the corset base. It doesn't show, and so there's no real need to be fancy here. This is the underbust of the corset and we will be sewing a curve. For it to lay flat, we need to add a few snips along the curve. They do not need to be long, just enough to reach your hem. There is one thing that I didn't get shots of that's kind of important, is that you need to leave one side open for all of your pieces so that you can turn them right side out after we're done sewing. I highly recommend that you iron the pieces after turning them right side out. You can see the difference here. And now we sew the two pieces together to form our corset base. For a neat finish, use the zigzag stitch or a serger after sewing the pieces together. Now that we have our base, let's assemble our coat tails and front tails. Again, we want to leave one end open for turning the piece right side out. Now let's attach the freshly pressed front tails to our base. We need to add some small cuts to where the curves on the base will be to help our piece lay flat. Here is where our open end would be on our front tail. And on the open end is where we will fold it over to hide it. If you have a dress form, this is a perfect way to place the pieces in the best way to fit your body.
Now we are ready to sew all of our pieces together to form one garment. Here you can see that I have folded down the opening to hide it. This is my original rim corset. You can see the adjustments that I have made. Here I placed the coattails at the top of the corset base and I overlapped them to conceal the cord drawn back. On the new one, I have placed the coattails at the bottom of the base and I added snaps for the back and a contoured bust. I would shared this with you to show you that any placement that you choose will work out. Now that we are in the home stretch of our structural sewing of our piece, we need to take our time and go slow. In the pinning process, I added the straps so that it would be a seamless piece. Not only did I attach all of the pieces to the base, I added a stitching to the front tails as well as all of the edges to tie it all in. Now we have a fully completed corset, and now time for decoration. Here I used small bias tape and folded it for my decoration. You can use ribbon or anything else that you would rather use that you think would work out. When I need to make turns, I simply twist the tape once and keep going. You're going to want to pin as you go so that you can make adjustments as needed and make both sides symmetrical. I've sewn mine for a stronger hold, but I've seen some people use fabric glue and that works just fine, but I recommend sewing it. Whenever your tape runs out, it's no issue. You just overlap the tape and keep going. I love the bias tape because of its stiffness and it holds its shape as you're going. With ribbon, it kind of moves around and it's got a sheen to it usually and I prefer this matte look. Now we just overlap the ends to have a seamless finish. When you have pinned the decoration on both sides, you can start sewing. This is what's going to grab people's attention first. Take your time here. I used a single straight stitch here. I used white top stitch and a red bobbin. Something to take note of is when you change the direction of your fabric is to make sure that your needle is down. This helps you to not lose your place. Another quick tip that I have is for you to change out your bobbin to match your coattails when you come to them. It will just give it a nice invisible line and it looks so good. Almost done. Time for the final touches. I made some small bows off screen and I'm going to hand sew them onto the corset. It's much easier this way. And for a more festive feel, I added some small bells.
And now we're done. I added five snaps to the back off screen. I also sewed the point under the bust on the front to make it more square and more clean. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful in not just Rem cosplays, but in all cosplays requiring decorative stitching. If it was, please hit the like button, and if you didn't, give me your feedback in the comments. Also, if you would like to have further content or you want to see the further releasing for tutorials later on, please subscribe. I will be releasing a tutorial video on the Rem dress as well and the accessories, so I hope you see you soon.